Good morning, ladies. And I guess politically it's incorrect to say ladies. So I don't know what to call all of you, my, my loveys, my my precious ones, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know, you tell me. We can talk about that when I see you on Wednesday. But I was doing my morning meditation and I do a lot of breathing exercises, then I come to stillness. But I, there's this one exercise, I don't do it all the time, but it I, it's an exercise that brings you down to that space below your belly button. And it's, so it's this, this whole area right here which often, I know at least for me personally, that's always been a place like I could, I, I would be skinny here or skinnier when I was younger. And then this would always pop out and you can see it does. I mean, and that's okay. But I used to be so critical and wanted to be perfectly flat and send hate energy to that part of my body. But I want you to know, and it's in class number three, that's your uh, Dantian. That's your spiritual embryo. And what I mean by that is as you start bringing love energy and co your conscious awareness to this area of your body and that Dantian right there where it actually pops out, that you wake up, that you wake up to yourself, that you stop beating yourself up, that you start stepping into the awareness of the amazing being, light being and divine fem uh, that you are and accessing your divine feminine essence that will free you, free you from all of the programming, all of the conditioning. See, this is, and it's so funny because there was so, after class, I always think about so many different things af after I've been with you on Wednesday, we've only had two sessions, but I just always think afterwards. And um, so one of the things is what really, I became really aware of, not because all of you are doing it, but I think we all are, is the energetic cloak that we have on us and especially around this area due to the programming, due to the patterning, the cultural and societal conditioning and the shame. So as you start learning how to bring love and light and you know your conscious awareness to this area of your body, you free yourself, you free yourself. So it's not just the genitals, but th this area, I would say there's something magical about this area. And if you can start to really love it. Now, I so this morning when I started thinking about that, you know, this area of the body, it's pretty magical. It's where we wake up spiritually, right? And um, this is a place where we're constantly, or not constantly, but often very critical. And so I said, oh, well, I'm gonna do the exercise. So this exercise that I did this morning is a Kundalini exercise. And it involves sound, which will awaken this area of your, this chakra, this area of your body, and this area of your body, bringing attention and awareness to this part of your body which is really juicy, which is really nourishing, which is, you know, really enlivening. So I want to show it, share it with you and show it to you. So basically, wait, let me, before I go back over there, it's har, H-A-R. That's all you have to say is har, but it goes, it's har and it's at the tip of the tongue uh, reaches the top of the palate, right? And in Kundalini yoga, what they teach you is that top of your palate is your keyboard to higher consciousness. So the words that you choose to speak actually create your consciousness. And these chants actually will shift your consciousness to a higher vibration. So it's very magical. It's H-A-R, H-A-R. And so it goes like this, um, HUD, HUD, HUD. So it sounds like you're saying HUD, but you're saying H-A-R, okay? But you'll automatically, your tongue will automatically um, hit the roof of your mouth or the upper palate, boom, boom, boom. Awakening, stimulating your pineal gland, stimulating your pituitary gland, uh, activating the higher centers in your brain, but also in a way that stimulates down there, okay? So that's why this is so powerful. So let's do this. I wore lighter clothes so you can actually see. This is just one of so many different exercises. So it goes like this. And I want you to see. It goes, hud, 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 
Hud, do you see how it brings that energy down to this area of your body? And so the pattern is, you can do it different ways. You can just say, Hud, Hud. So you close your eyes and you bring your energy down here and you go, Hud, 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 Hud. Or you go, Hud, 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 Huddy. Hud, 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 Huddy. Hud, 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 Huddy. Okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together for a little bit. Now try that. It's Hud, 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 Hud. Huddy, hud, 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 huddy. You like it? <laughs> it's so powerful. Okay, so just feel this area of your body. Let's do this just a few times together. So, are you ready to join me? Let's do it. Let's let's do this together. Okay. Hud, 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 hud. Huddy, hud, 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 huddy. Hud, 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 huddy. One more time. Hud, 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 huddy. Deep inhale. Filling up your body. Long exhale. Out through the nose or the mouth, whatever you feel comfortable with. Blowing it all out and lifting up, sucking in and lifting up from the bottom of the body, pulling up your PC muscle, and then release and just sit in stillness and bring all of your love and conscious awareness down into your lower belly, that place below your belly button. <coughs> Excuse me and smile, turn your lips up and smile, send kind regard to that area of your body. Often we're very numb in this part of our body. So this brings aliveness to that part of your body. In a very healthy, nurturing, even unusual and odd way but it's Kundalini Yoga, the science of awareness. The science of self-awareness. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've never done Kundalini Yoga or aren't familiar with it, it's it for the people that haven't been exposed to it, it's, it's like, oh my gosh, this is stranger than strange but it's a unique way to work with your body, to spiritualize your sexuality and free you from the pain that many of us carry collectively and individually. So give it a try. I'll do it with you. You can just hit rewind and do it again and make comments. Let me know what you think. Have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Namaste.